Now, if you're wondering why this car's getting so much media attention, let me explain. That's because just a few years ago, if somebody had said to you that you could buy yourself a premium luxury brand SUV that seats five people, and it would return you up to 150 miles to the gallon, the only output would be around 44 grams of CO2 per kilometer, you'd think they'd gone mad. Well, actually, it's a reality, and it's here. This is Mitsubishi's new Outlander plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And with figures like that, this could be the perfect car. When Mitsubishi were designing this car, they wanted it to be as aerodynamically efficient as possible. And the way they did that was to put it in a wind tunnel. And what they got was some great results because they've smoothed off the nose at the front. That means the air passes over much cleaner. They rake the windscreen back so the air gets over it much faster. They've even done some nice little clever touches like recessing the washer jets underneath the bonnet and that smooths up and cleans up the airflow over the top. That means that this car, when it goes down the road, cuts through the air a lot cleaner. Not only that, it means that it's really quiet inside and all that is very clever thinking. Now inside, Mitsubishi have absolutely nailed it. I love it in here, from the quality of the leather seats, the plastics up on the dashboard, this lovely leather steering wheel, this car just oozes premiumness. And I love some of the technology that's been shoved inside this car. You've got this wonderful high def navigation system display screen that doubles up as the onboard computer telling you how well you're performing and how well you're driving. The dials on the dashboard, instead of a rev counter, you've got charge, eco, and power to tell you what mode the car is in at the time. And in terms of safety, this car has got it all. It's got more airbags than you could wish for. It's even got airbags for the knee. Plus it's got lane departure warning system. It's got radar cruise control that that couples with. And it's got forward crash mitigation system. It detects whether the car is gonna be involved in an accident and automatically applies the brakes. It's absolutely fantastic, this car. In fact, they got a Euro NCAT five-star rating and they said it's one of the best cars they've ever tested. Just gets better and better. So what is the technology that powers this new plug-in hybrid electric vehicle? Well, let me explain with this fantastic cutaway model of the car. Up front here, we've got a two litre modern petrol engine. Further down, you've got a power inverter, a generator, and electric motor. That's all the front taken care of. In the middle of the car, you've got 80 lithium ion batteries and they've been placed low down for that center of gravity. At the back, you've got a 60 kilowatt electric motor and that's the fuel tank. Now, what I like about this car is the fact that all of that together means that it's got permanent four-wheel drive, it's got great off-road capability, and it's got no gearbox in a conventional sense. So it's more efficient, there's less things to go wrong, and of course, less weight. But what's really cool, if you fill this car up normally at a petrol pump and use all this technology, you're returning yourself up to 150 miles to the gallon. Not bad, eh? But if you want to, you can take the option of just charging it up overnight. And the next day, if you went backwards and forwards to work, backwards and forwards to school, or just potted backwards and forwards to the shops, you'll be using no fuel whatsoever. In fact, it means you'll never have to visit a petrol pump again. And if that isn't the future of motoring technology right there, I don't know what is. With a lot of electric cars I've seen before, there always seems to be a compromise with boot space. But with this, nothing. Do you know what? It doesn't seem to be any compromise whatsoever. I did say earlier that this could be the perfect car. It's fair to say that a lot of the technology in this motor exists with other manufacturers and other cars, but never has anyone bought it together so perfectly in such a premium package. Mitsubishi referred to this car as a game changer. I, for one, believe them. <laughs>